Howdy. Welcome back from our space engineers. And today we are going to work on the uh, docking bay. If I can get this thing to move for the drones. We are going to have the drill and fill stations and dig out all this material up here so that it, we will have nice docking areas for them. Same thing on the other side. And you can see it's going to drill out in a shaft that goes all the way down here. And my plan is actually to do a tunnel with a ladder that goes all the way up. Also, while we're waiting for that, we're going to come out here and we're going to build the docking bay. So, this thing's too fast now. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to come in here and we are going to turn on all of the drills. And uh, if we look, we'll see that starting to work. Shouldn't take too long. All right. So now we're going to come out here. Wait, where am I at? There we are. And we're going to work on this. I need to have steel plates. Make sure I have steel plates. I do right my plan is actually very simple I actually just plan on using half slabs all the way through. I don't think that we're, we're going to have to worry about too much damage because the build and repair systems will automatically get us back to where we need to be and repair everything for us. Why can't I place that there? Oh, probably because that's in the way. Alright, I'll have to move that and then fill in those holes. Now, I will actually be tearing this bit of land out and making a pathway down. out build that in there Bob's actually making very quick work of all this this into the side of the mountain all the way back. Something is acting weird right now. Now we're going to see just how much of this we want to fill in. Yeah, we'll see how far we can get away with pulling this back. To be honest, I kind of like it. Probably wind up changing out some of the uh, pipes here 
to better blend with the actual landing pad. All right, so my thoughts are, we're gonna fill this. All of that's going to be full. So, I will be back when all of that is full. We're back, and as you can see, the landing pad has completely been built up. And uh, we're gonna switch to spectator cam real quick here, so I can actually see the whole thing. So yeah, I, I really like it. I like the way it looks. Um, we did have to put these little sunken in areas down here so that we have room for our guns when we actually came down here because the, the bounding box of this actually goes a little bit below the surface of the plates. But it's looking pretty good. And if we come over here, You'll be able to see that we've got this all dug out all the way up. And, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of space up here now to be able to build our drone staging area. So, let's go grab some energy here. And we'll start building up that drone staging area any day now I know exactly how long it takes I gave it timers it still takes too long nope oh, we're gonna grab some energy Jumping in low gravity is really nice. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Alright, we're just going to run over this way. Don't really need to be wasting my energy having my light on right now, but oh well. Okay, so the plan is actually to build a ladder that goes all the way up. But we need a floor out here to do that. And I'm thinking that we're going to come out of the... Oh! Get off of there. We're going to come out of there and we're going to have our conveyor system go all the way up right there. So let's go ahead and we'll switch to four. There we go. All right. And for this, we will actually go ahead and we'll use these going up like so all the way up there actually we're going to go ahead and we're going to change that real quick and we're going to go with putting another conveyor junction there probably should have just came off of there And we're just going to use these all the way up. Now what I do want to see... Where is it? Right there. 
is these ladder things. I want to see what air tightness we have on those. Okay, so the back and not the top. Perfect, that's what I was hoping for. Well, that's mostly what I was hoping for. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I'm just going to have them go up right there. I think I saved too much space here. Let's see, I've got all this space. Just go ahead and we'll cut that out. Inventory cut full. that out. Inventory we'll cut that out. Full. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a spiral staircase all the way up. Because I can. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to bring this all the way around. This will come to the center. of this area here. And I put those in backwards. Ah, uh, bummer. Inventory Tear those back out. Full. Inventory full. All right. Okay, so. I'm gonna put that there. We're going to put the C right there, another straight one, and another C. Alright, and then we'll put a full block there, because we'll need a full block there. I don't know how much I need over here, but these plates are cheap. So I'm just going to fill in everything. The only reason why we're standing on a full block here is... Okay. The only reason that we're standing on a full block right there is we can't put a full block here. Can we? Okay. Now, if we put a full block there, will it merge to this? Mount points. Okay. So, no, it does not look like that has any mounting points that we care about. It's only on the bottom. So if we put that plate there, it should not interfere. No. So if we put it right there, it shouldn't actually tie those two together. Up there. Alright. And let's turn the overlays off. Alright, now if I come in here and I try to do a spiral staircase, we're actually going to run into a problem with oxygen running out. Hmm. What do I want to do for that? No, I think ladders are going to be the way to go. Use full blocks there. Oops, let's 
not where I wanted that to go. Okay, so we're going to use full blocks all the way up this wall up until we get to the bottom of the... There. And... Am I on steel plates already? I am. Bummer. Alright, so we're going to run that all the way up, and then we're going to bounce... Uh, Put a box in all of this. And right here, we are actually going to do this all the way up. And we'll probably use a single plate. We don't need that one. Okay, so... We will just use a single plate going all the way up. Right there, and I'm out of steel plates. So we'll be, we'll be able to climb that ladder all the way up. And right in here, we're actually going to wind up putting in a door. All right, we've got some steel plates. And we're going to need a lot of them here. Okay, so... This ought to work. thinking because these are cheap we're going to use this for most of our walls okay and my thought is that this will also have oxygen in this room in this whole thing so right here we need a ceiling I think two blocks should be enough of course my energy is low because I need to start watching that a lot better than I do now I do want to use these plates up here I'm gonna want some kind of catwalk there but I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the system a bit we're going to box ourselves in and we're going to go get energy is completely enca encased. There we go. Got air. Let's go get some energy. And then we'll be right back again. Alright, we're back and I don't want to have to run back for more plates again. So we're going to put one, put a conveyor. Well, we are going to need a vent in here anyways. And this will give us access to inventory. Right there. That'll work. Okay, so now what I'm thinking is that I don't want my computer to freeze up like that again. This block right here 
and right here need to go away. And so will that one and that one. Those will need to be full blocks. Alright, now for these we can use the plates again. And back here as well. So we'll just switch this to me not needing to aim very well. Alright, so yeah, we will take this all the way up. Just this box right here. So I'll just get that done and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And start with it's all sealed up. Everything is done. It's all sealed up. We got the shaft going all the way up to the top here. And we do have gravity. Um, a little bit of it anyways. That's the end. We're going to be putting another gravity generator up here, I think. So, go ahead and pop up here. I put a little room up here uh, with its own makeshift airlock. This will depressurize this room until the tanks are full in the sh in the uh, in the base. All right, so you can see we're right up here, and we are ready to start building our drone docking stations. So, they are going to be rather simple. Um, if I'm being honest, they're going to be extremely simple. Let's see. This is... Oh, let's turn that off. Okay. So what I'm thinking... Is let's go to the pipes. Do I want pipes? Now let's go ahead and use the regular conveyors. I think I have... Yes, I have enough to get a few of these done. Okay, let's get a T in here. And we're going to do another T and another T. And then we're going to do an item sorter. And another item sorter. And I hate to use that many item sorters, but I think it's what we have to do. It is not what I want to do. This is just to ensure that the base, uh, the drones never get overfilled with anything they're not supposed to have. Actually, I'm going to tear that down. I think we're going to do that a different way. Let's go ahead and let Bob tear it down, actually. Okay. Now... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I don't really need... I don't really need... Um... Hmm. Let's think on this. Will a T work here? Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll do a T. And then we're going to wind up using some straights. Not P. 
All right. Okay, and I'm going to want... Actually, probably only going to want three between each one. Let's jump down here and get rid of that real quick. Okay, so now we'll do a T. I'm thinking we'll do a T just like so. And we'll do a sorter now. I think I put that upside down. I did. I put that upside down. All right. And then on top of that, we will go ahead and we'll add a connector here. All right. So that's basically two drone docking stations right there. Let that build up. So each of these will be set to only allow one type of ore to pass through them. They will not be set to drain. And that should allow the drones to only drop off ore when the base is actually able to take the ore. All right. And then for each of these, I'm thinking that we will want some sort of catwalk that goes up there. And kind of encircles the drone. All right. We'll figure out the catwalk later, I think. All right. I think we're going to have to copy this and have one of these stations for every single ore type we're going to be picking up. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right. So we got the we got the docking bays all well, docking ports all put in. Everything's all built up. I got to figure out gravity. That's annoying. Okay. Yeah, we got them all put in. We got five on this side. Let's just switch to my spectator cam here because it's a little easier. Wait. Yeah, five on that side. Five on this side. Um, I had to put in a conveyor system coming across over here, so I turned that into a, a bridge. Which I thought was a, an okay idea. Um, I did drop in a couple of cargo containers so I could get inventory. And as you can see, I put a little bit of flooring in all the way around. All in all, I'm rather happy with this. I think this will do nicely. And you can see we're still able to get all the way through down to there. So I think it'll work pretty good. I'm rather happy with it. So, what to do next? All right, so next time, I think we're going to work on the drones. And while I'm off camera, I'm going to figure out gravity. What I'm thinking is I'm going to put a kind of an arc that goes down and follows the contour here with a gravity generator right in the center to supply gravity all the way around and hopefully to the portion of this shaft here that has, doesn't have gravity. So I'll do that off camera 
And we'll be back next time to work on drones. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.